Hi guys, my name is Shiv and you are watching Life Academy. Today we will make a C++ program on charging and discharging of a capacitor in RC circuit. Let us start the program. First of all, we will introduce our header file hash include io stream for input and output stream and then our header file hash include cmath for maths functions and then using namespace std will bring all the derivatives defined in standard to the current global scope and then we define a class named as rc by class we mean creating a new data type in this bracket we will declare our class variables and functions first of all we declare these variables i will explain these variable after some time and then we declare two functions get data function and calculate function and now we will define these function below here scope resolution operator is used to define the function outside the class in these brackets we will define our function and now get data function is for getting the data from the user first of all using output operator we display enter the value of a and b and ask the user to enter a and b and input operator a and b is used for that purpose similarly for applied voltage v not and then resistance r capacitance c and then initial voltage at capacitor vc and then we ask initial time and final time and step size from the user as we all know voltage is of two type ac and dc for ac source v is equal to v not sin omega t and for dc v equal to v not in the program we use v equal to v not a plus b sin omega t when a is 1 and omega is 0 we will get v equal to v not and when a is 0 and b is not equal to 0 we will get v not sin omega t times b that is for ac source here we use if statement to get the values of frequency if a is equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 when a is equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0 we have ac source and then only we have frequency otherwise we have no frequency so we use if statement to resolve that problem and the angular frequency omega is given as 2 pi f in radians per second in order to convert this in degrees per second we have used in f star pi upon 180 degrees and then we again define calculate function using scope resolution operator and then and we 
define our calculate function in this bracket in this bracket first of all we use for loop let us see some formulas here you can see a simple diagram for rc circuit having source voltage v using kirchhoff's law v is equal to vr plus vc v is equal to i into r plus vc and hence i is equal to v minus vr upon r as we know i is equal to d q by dt and q in terms of capacitance and capacitor voltage is given as c into vc we want to calculate q and vc substituting this q value here we will get i is equal to c into d of vc upon dt and substituting this i value here we will get dvc upon dt is equal to v minus vc upon r into c we will give this term another name k this is a differential equation in order to solve this differential equation we use v equal to v naught plus f t naught y naught into t minus t naught here t minus t naught is step size here you can see v is equal to v naught a plus b sin omega t here i is t and then we use k that is d v c upon d t is equal to v minus v c upon r c and then use euler's method to solve the differential equation and then we will get the values of q is equal to vc into c and this whole process take place from i is equal to ti to tf with step size h and then we get output c out time and then space and then q value calculated here for different times and vc calculated here for different times and then close the brackets we will use int main function for running the program first of all we will display a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 for dc source and a is equal to 0 b is equal to 1 for ac source so that user can select his source is dc or ac and then we use class defined above rc and object p for calling b rc data type and then p dot get data function to get the data and p dot calculate function to calculate the values and then terminate the program using return 0 now we will compile and run the program as there is no error in the program our program is here agar here is our output enter the values of a and b let us suppose our source is dc for dc source a is 1 and b is 
enter the value of applied voltage our let us suppose our applied voltage is 50 and the resistance value is 5 capacitance is 1 enter initial voltage at capacitor is 0 enter initial time and final time and step size initial time is 0 final time is pause 20 and step size is 0 0.01 here is our output as you can see we have as you can see our initial voltage at capacitor is zero that is we are charging the capacitor as we have applied the voltage across it we will draw a plot of these values using GNU plot I will copy these values using control C and paste these values in notepad and then save the file by a name charge chink one and save now in GNU plot first of all I will change the directory and select the folder in which my notepad file is present and then I use set x label time and set y label charge and voltage for labeling x and y axis now i will use plot command for plotting my charging one file txt and then use and then u space 1 ratio 2 w space l comma again charging 1 dot txt use for u for using space 1 ratio 3 space w for width l for line and then enter here is our graph you can see initially capacitor is at zero voltage as the time increases capacitor starts charging exponentially after some time it will get fully charged similarly you can draw a graph for discharging of a capacitor it will be of form this this for charging and this for discharging you can see q is equal to q naught 1 minus exponential minus t upon cr for charging and q is equal to q naught 
exponential minus t upon cr this is the waveform you can also check for ac source using a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 using same program thanks for watching